For more on this, so we see that Kathy Hochul, the governor, is going to lift restrictions, at least to a degree there. In New York, it means that people won't have to wear masks in private businesses anymore. Private businesses won't have to ask for the vaccine passport. It's not going to apply to schools, though. And I'm, and I'm wondering, in, in all of this, Congresswoman, what's changed, the science or the politics? Well, it's interesting that you don't need the masks now in businesses, but you do need them in schools. So certainly it's political here. Uh, I believe because Kathy Hochul is in a primary with somebody from the left, she's uh, doing this to appease the teachers union. Uh, what I'll say is, is that my colleagues and I from New York, uh, we, we've been pushing and yesterday again, we wrote another letter to the governor asking her to join the states of New Jersey and Connecticut, and as you now reported, Massachusetts in lifting these mandates. We believe that it should be the parents choice on whether uh, their student, their child is wearing a mask in the cl classroom. And that should be a personal health decision made by families, not by a governor. Particularly when you're seeing politicians like Stacey Abrams maskless in a school for a photo op. You're seeing Senator Schumer dancing salsa without a mask in uh, Puerto Rico. Uh, you know, it's the hypocrisy and the double standard that I think Americans have had enough of. And that is why you're seeing so many come out and, and really be vocal, pushing for their rights and freedoms. I'll, I'll get to Stacey Abrams in just a moment because that's something I do want to discuss with you. But the move by Kathy Hochul and the governors of New Jersey, Oregon, uh, and other states, Delaware included, put them at odds with the White House, which is still sticking by its guns in terms of mask mandates. Here's Jen Psaki's response to our Jackie Heinrich yesterday at the briefing. These states, uh, I think it's important to note, they still allow for decisions to be made by local school districts. If a kid or a parent chooses to wear a mask or a school district decides they should keep mask guidance in place, and there are leaders who are preventing them from doing that. Local school districts have always made these decisions. That remains the case. You know, I got to say that the turnaround of blue states is remarkable, as is the difference between how it's being covered. When uh, Mississippi and Texas removed their mask mandates, the president of the United States said it was Neanderthal thinking. When Glenn Youngkin the, in the Commonwealth of Virginia removed mask mandates, he was met with lawsuits. And yet when Phil Murphy does it, it's met with congratulations. We're moving forward. We're getting back to normal. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's real hypocrisy, and I think that is why Americans are so frustrated. Even CNN's uh, health expert said that masks should not be mandated in schools, that it should be a, a student's choice, which therefore means a parent's choice. So important, by the way, uh, to, to, for social development, for mental health, for uh, emotional health, and particularly for those young kids, they're saying that they need to be able to read the lips of their teachers. It's part of their de developmental uh, growth. So I think that, again, Again, let parents decide if their children wear masks in schools. Let's get rid of these mandates one for, once and for all. Let's restore normalcy. That's what I've been advocating, you know, with treatments, with, with antiviral medication. That's yeah. what we should be focused on. Accept that this is here to stay, and it's going to be an annual, annual thing, and we need to just be prepared to deal with it as best as we can without all these restrictions and mandates that are affecting all other sorts of life, from the economy to education uh, and mental health. We've got less than a minute left. Let's get to Stacey Abrams, who had initially said, oh, I took the mask off for one photo, then it turns out, no, she had it off for much longer than that. She apologized for doing that. Listen here. I took a picture, and that was a mistake. Protocols matter, and protecting our kids is the most important thing, and anything that can be perceived as undermining that is a mistake, and I apologize. So, she yeah. says that taking the picture was the mistake. Taking off the mask actually might have been the mistake, but it reveals a disturbing trend among Democratic politicians who slough off the rules and, and then resort to prevarication and obfuscation, and clearly there's the sense that they think people are stupid and aren't going to figure out what really happened. Yeah, it's rules for thee, not for me. That's how the Democratic Party rolls. But the bottom line is Stacey Abrams has done more to lift the restrictions on our young people this week uh, by doing that photo and showing the hypocrisy of the left and that it's not based on science, it's just based on politics. Nicole Malley, attack is